Phlebotomy, Lesson 2.6, Cardiac Blood Flow. The heart is a double pump system. Both sides work together and perform in a similar manner, but contain different types of blood and send blood to different places. Both sides consist of an atrium, a ventricle, an artery, a vein, and two valves. The vena cava. Blood enters the right atrium through the superior and inferior vena cava. The right atrium. The top of the heart contracts to push the blood from the atria into the right ventricle. The tricuspid valve. The valve lying between the right atria and right ventricle is the tricuspid valve. The right ventricle. The right ventricle receives blood from the right atrium and contracts to send it to the lungs. Pulmonic valve. The valve between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery is the pulmonic valve. Pulmonary artery. The blood then travels through the pulmonary artery to the lungs to drop off carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen. Pulmonary vein. After receiving oxygen, the blood travels from the lungs to the left atrium through the pulmonary vein. Left atrium. The top of the heart contracts to push the blood from the atria into the left ventricle. Mitral valve. The valve lying between the left atria and left ventricle is the mitral valve, or the bicuspid valve. Left ventricle. The bottom of the heart contracts, sending blood from the left ventricle, which is known as the powerhouse of the heart, to the body through the aorta. Aortic valve. The valve between the left ventricle and the aorta is the aortic valve. The aorta. The aorta is the largest artery in the body and receives blood from the left ventricle to distribute blood to arteries throughout the body. The aortic arch. The aortic arch is the top rounded portion of the aorta and delivers oxygenated blood to arteries in the head, neck, and arms and the descending aorta. The descending aorta runs behind the heart and delivers oxygenated blood to arteries in the abdomen, pelvis, and legs. An overview of both sides. On the right side, the right side of the heart receives deoxygenated blood from the body. It arrives via the vena cava, travels through the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, and into the right ventricle. Then it progresses through the pulmonic valve and into the pulmonary artery where it goes to the lungs to be oxygenated. Once the blood is oxygenated it will return to the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart receives oxygenated blood from the lungs through the pulmonary vein. It will be emptied into the left atrium, progress through the mitral valve, into the left ventricle. It then progresses through the aortic valve and into the aorta. Finally, it makes its way to the body to oxygenate the tissues. The vena cava. The vena cava receives deoxygenated blood. The superior vena cava collects blood from above the heart and the inferior vena cava collects blood from below the heart. The right atrium receives the deoxygenated blood from the vena cava. It is a holding chamber. The tricuspid valve controls the flow of blood from the right atrium into the right ventricle. It prevents the back flow of blood into the atrium. The right ventricle receives the blood from the right atrium and sends that blood to the lungs for reoxygenation. The pulmonic valve controls the blood flow from the right ventricle into the pulmonary artery. And the pulmonary artery transports the blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs. Let's animate it. The vena cava transports blood to the right side of the heart. 
the right atrium fills. The tricuspid valve will then open and this allows the right ventricle to fill. The ventricle contracts and pushes blood through the pulmonary valve. The blood then moves into the pulmonary artery to be transported to the lungs. The right side of the heart pumps blood to the lungs to drop off waste products like carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen. Blood will then return to the left side of the heart to be pumped to the body. Now that you have the basics of the right side of the heart down, we'll move to the left side which works the same way. Blood is transported to the left side of the heart through the pulmonary veins. It is then deposited into the left atrium which fills. The mitral valve then opens and allows the blood to progress into the left ventricle. When the left ventricle contracts, the aortic valve opens as the blood is pushed through and the blood progresses to the aorta. Now we will animate both sides of the heart at the same time to see how the heart works together. You have now mastered cardiac blood flow. Let's move a little deeper into the heart with our next lesson. Progress to lesson 2.7 on the layers of the heart.